one. We're gonna be talking about the Rokoko motion capture suit today. This is gonna be recorded live for YouTube. The Rokoko motion capture suit, we're gonna be talking specifically about the suit and the gloves. Uh, I have not used their facial capture system, but they do also have that as well. Um, a few disclaimers is that I was partnered with Rokoko for about a year. I did not get anything for free, so I actually had to pay good money out of pocket to to get the the suit and the gloves as well as the subscription to Rokoko Studio and also a very important thing as well is that I now work with Buvella which is the parent company of Xsense so what am I using right now I'm using an Xsense suit a link suit and then I'm still using Rokoko gloves. A little bit about me. So my motion capture experience is that I've used VR trackers for body motion and hand capture. So like the index controllers can also capture hand motion. I've basically used everything from virtual motion capture to mega mocap, Manus and other things. I've also used webcam tracking. I've used many other motion capture gloves. I've used Connect for body tracking and hand tracking. I have about a thousand hours logged in a Rokoko suit and gloves, which roughly translates if you count it as eight hour work days, 125 work days. And then I've spent the last few months using a link suit from Xsense. Here's the TLDR if um, you don't wanna get all the deets, basically. The Rokoko suit is great for recording. The gloves are also amazing for live and recording. The suit is great for live standing or in motion content. I personally do not believe this suit is great for live VTubing and we're gonna get that in a moment. And um, interference with Wi-Fi or magnetic interference can be a problem. Question you might be asking yourself is why would you get a motion capture suit? If you want nice, natural, full body motion capture that doesn't look stiff. You don't wanna have a bunch of cables hanging off your body and that's what, one of the main issues with using VR tracking. You're either limited to having like three, four hours of battery life with each Vive tracker. And then you have to have all these straps and sometimes cables hanging off you. It's not really that great. And then also with a motion capture suit, it's a lot easier to use. So like what's really, really nice about any motion capture suit, basically you just step into it, zip it up, and you're ready to go. If you're using other things like VR trackers, you have to like strap each of them on, make sure that they stay in place. It can be a bit of a nightmare. Or if you want to just record any kind of mocap, if you're doing like games, movies, like your own personal projects, or uh, for YouTube videos. What is the Rokoko suit? Well, it's basically uh, a suit for full body motion capture. And what's really nice about it is that you can get really nice, realistic looking movement that looks natural and not stiff. It looks natural. You see subtle movements that you normally wouldn't see. What's really nice about Rokoko is that it's really comfortable, breathable, and easy to get in and out of. The Rokoko suit, the system is, um, I'm gonna say affordable. When you're looking at motion capture suits, and the value that they bring. It's in the realm of being affordable. Yes, it's $3,000. Yes, it's $1,500, but we're comparing it to other motion capture solutions that like basically start the next step up is like 10 grand. And in, in that sense, it, it is technically considered affordable. The pros and cons of Rokoko. Basically the suit, like I said, very comfortable, very breathable. I can spend hours in the suit and getting in and out of it is really, really simple. What's, what I really like is that they have like these straps that you can take on and off that makes it even easier to get in and out of. So the Rokoko suit's really great for standing or action-based movement. So as long as you are in motion or standing, I, I would say that's like where Rokoko really excels. Also really great is their recording is really great because they have really, really great intuitive mocap cleanup. Also, they have a solution for hands, gloves, and face. So if you were to get all three, the complete package, basically, you can merge all of those things into one place that's easy to edit. Other solutions, you have to kind of like mix and match things together and it can get really complicated. Also like a really big plus side to Rokoko is that they have a really strong community and social media presence. And then I know from their live streams, their YouTube channel, they have great tutorials, great community engagement. 
They do a lot of things for the community. They have co regular contests, they engage with content creators. So I'd say like those are like the really good strong points of Rokuko. What is not so great is having to deal with any interference caused by metal, Wi-Fi. The body drift is what we're, we're also gonna get into later. There are limited Wi-Fi receivers and how difficult it can be to troubleshoot the suit especially if you're doing something that's mission critical. And that goes in part of the suit's cables being incredibly fragile. I actually remember seeing the video Corridor Digital did where a, a, a scooter, Scooty, comes to life and they actually had an actor in a Rokoko suit the entire time, but the suit died partway through. I, I suspect that one of their cables got disconnected or broke. The gloves are non-washable, which is not necessarily a deal breaker. This is the Rokoko suit. This is how it comes in the box. What, what I really, really like about it is that you can see in the picture, there's tons of straps for adjustment, no matter how skinny you are or big you are, that you can make sure that it's going to fit on your body really, really well. And that also comes in part with like how easy it is to take on. And, and also too, you like they have this nice, really nice cable routing system so that you can always make sure that like there's no hanging cables off of your body. And then the gloves come with uh, two sets of cables. They come with a short set of cables and a long set of cables. You can use your configuration of your suit. And it comes with, like a really nice kind of like hard, soft case that you can use for storage. About the gloves specifically is that the gloves I would think are, are, are Rokoko's best product. I've used a number of gloves in the past and what it, the really good strong points of the gloves is that it does give really good, nice hand capture with full finger movements. And what's also really nice is that it actually exposes your fingertips. So doing things with your hands feel more natural. So it feels like really good to, to use them if you're gaming, if you're typing or interacting with other things because you actually have your fingertips exposed. When it comes down to the washability of them, since they are non-washable, they can get a little fresh after a thousand hours of use. But even then they are nowhere near as bad as other ones because they, they're made of like a special material that, that doesn't really absorb the grossness of from your skin. After the 1000 hours, one of my gloves died and they ended up replacing it for me. But apparently that's like super uncommon. The best use cases of the Rokoko suit, I would say if you're making a game and you want to record some animations uh, for your game. So if you're, if you want to do like specific movements or actions that's where i would say the rokoko really comes in its strengths any animation so if you're doing like a short film any kind of vfx or something where you would need some body movement it's really really good for there it can be used in virtual reality so you can use it in things like vr chat but i would advise that if you're using a rokoko suit in vr chat you do it strictly for standing or movement type content and you can also use it in in some live performances with a huge asterisk which we're going to talk about in a moment. One of the huge plus sides, as I said, is their active community. So they have a Discord server, they do events. So regularly you'll see them do like mocap contests where the winner of the contest will actually be able to win like gloves, suits, which is amazing to see. They engage with the community that well. And like I said, they're super, super active on their social media, super responsive. And it's really nice to see that coming from a company. I would say the real talks time, the Roku suit, in my opinion, not good for live or mission critical things. Here's an example of why do I say that the Rokoko suit is really, really good for standing or in motion content? Why is it not good for VTubing? When you think about VTubing, like what am I doing right now? I'm sitting at my computer and that's what most live streamers do is they sit at their computer, they chat with stream or they're playing a game. Here's a really good demonstration of a time lapse of over four minutes of the kind of differences that you'll see. So you can see on, on the left side that's standing in motion content it's going really really great whereas you can see on the right side i am not moving the only thing i'm doing is i'm sitting down my leg is staying in the exact same position and these are problems that i've had with rokoko while sitting down for a very very long time and in this case in this example you're seeing that the drift was specifically in the in the leg area so you can see how it drifted off to one side but i've had problems where it would be my leg my torso my arms or my head you might be thinking 
thinking, well, that's because you have too much Wi-Fi. When I got my Rokoko suit, I knew this would be a problem. I switched all of my wireless devices to wired. I reduced the amount of metal, everything in my office, and still had issues exactly like that. This is why I basically say that Rokoko is not for live VTubing. Some of you might go, wait, Fofa, that's just using the Rokoko Studio legacy. I'm gonna say there are reasons why I do not use the like the Rokoko Studio 2. The main reason being is that it's missing some key features that I actually use on a regular basis. And then secondly, the new Rokoko Studio doesn't solve any issues it actually has the exact same issues as you can see this is the main issue that i have is that when i'm moving my legs if i'm sitting in a chair it just constantly shifts my body up and down and then also you can see that i'm still getting some drift issues even after like a few moments when i'm talking about the wi-fi situation so this is a screen grab directly from the rokoko troubleshooting website there's there's two major issues the wi-fi controller that they have put in the suit in the glove is not the best it actually is not able to see all channels can be broadcasted on either the 2.4 or the 5 gigahertz frequency i've recently had an issue when i was troubleshooting with someone else who is using Rokoko. All of these channels for the Rokoko suit that you see right here, channel 36, 52, 100, 120, 132, 149, they're all super populated. All the other channels that Rokoko cannot see, that's one of the main issues that I have with Rokoko is that what I would recommend if anyone's looking into either getting the gloves, which I still stand behind, I'm, I, I think the gloves are amazing, or the suit, download something called Wi-Fi Analyze and check the channels that are broadcasting in your area to make sure that those channels that the Rokoko gloves can see or the suit can see to make sure that they're not saturated. If there's a lot, if you're living in like a, an apartment or a suburb or a cul-de-sac, you might end up finding that all of these five gigahertz channels that are around you are gonna be full of signals. That basically makes the Rokoko suit and gloves unusable. The number one problem, so I'm personally, I'm fine with these issues. They don't affect everyone. The biggest problem with the Rokoko suits are their cables. These are all of the dead cables that I've had from Rokoko. How do these cables die? Well, you can see on one side, I have a zoom in of the, of the cable. The cables are incredibly fragile. Inside the red rubberized coating are these tiny, tiny, tiny cables. Basically what happens is over time from flexing or from moving your body, the inside the cable will break just from natural body movements. I've had to get uh, replacement cables directly from Rokoko a number of times I have, I've been saving all my cables specifically for this video, the ones that have died. I have gone through 40 cables from the suit specifically because the cables have died. I've also taken the time to double check the cables with an ohm meter to make sure that the cable has connection or non-connection. What I can tell you, the cables are very fragile and they do die. This is the number one problem with the suit. The gloves are fine. The suit, they need to fix the cables. It's a huge, huge problem. And this is basically what I'm saying I'm suspecting happened on the corridor shoot for their uh, short film Scooty. Another issue that you'll end up having is when a cable is kind of like in that state of semi dead. So what does that mean? Have you ever had a cable that's like if you jiggle it in a certain way, sometimes it'll work or sometimes it won't work. The same thing happens with the Rokoko cables. So in this GIF that you're seeing on the screen, you'll see that in the beginning, I'm moving just fine. But then as soon as my body moves in a specific way that moves one of those cables, it basically causes the mocap to completely lock up. Sometimes trying to troubleshoot and find which cable is causing the problem is almost impossible. So if this happens to you in a live scenario, so if you're on stage or you're doing something mission critical where there's not a lot of time or you're doing it in a live stream, it's trying to figure out which cable is the one that is the culprit is very time consuming. It will involve you basically like taking the suit off and then jiggling each cable individually to figure out which one is dead. And then sometimes if you're live lucky and you're fortunate when you power cycle the suit, I hope the cable will be completely disconnected. So when a cable fully dies, like you're seeing right here, is that um, you'll see that in this case, the head cable has died. The sensor will no longer be connected because the cable's dead. The conclusion of Rokoko, it's really, really good for recording standing content and action. The gloves 
our amazing offline recording features of Rokoko is great because what you can do is that if you have their gloves, if you have their face capture app and you have their suit, you can clean everything up and you can mix and match things. Um, performance capture all within Rokoko Studio. You don't have to use any other third party application. The only thing that would stop me from recommending Rokoko, the actual suit itself, is the cables. The cable's extremely fragile. Just from normal sitting content like I'm doing right now, I would end up having cables die just from normal movement. I would say if you get a Rokoko suit, what's really nice is that because of some feedback that I've given, every suit now comes with extra cables. It, as long as you're not doing something time sensitive or mission critical and you're and you're willing to do some troubleshooting, it's it's a recommend. But other than that, if you're ever doing live content or mission critical things, I, I, the suit, I would say, might not be best for you. But the gloves, the gloves are amazing.